LL Cool J versus Cool D. Oh! <laughs> no LL Cool J for pretty much being a pioneer in hip hop. Absolutely. Uh, his status, what he did back in the days from remixes to Def Jam to Mama Said Knock You Out. You know. Forget Oreos, eat Cool J yeah, cookies. I mean, exactly. <laughs> Mama said knock you out was actually his last diss track against Kumo D. He said, uh, I'm squashing the beef. This is it. I'm not saying anything more after this. Mama said knock you out. Mm, oh. See? Okay. That's where it all comes from. Did you know that Kumo D came back with a very similar track called Death Blow? He did answer that. Yeah. He answered it. Mm -hmm. and, and Cool J didn't answer him again. So, to some, they say that is... The proof that Kumo D, Kumo D t took the victory because he responded and there was nothing else from Cool J about it. Before he put it out though, Cool J said, this is the end. You know, he said, I'm saying this, I'm not saying nothing more about it ever again. To me, that shows, I'm not wasting my time on this any further. To me, that was mature. That was a, a good way to squash the beef and it was a killer track. I like Kumo D, but I did not find myself responding as well to his material as LL Cool J. And plus, Cool J's career kind of continued on from there, in my opinion. He took it to a whole new level with Mama Said Knock You Out, right? And the track was tight, the song just got me pumped, and I loved it. And I felt like he was the winner because of his, his enduring career beyond that point. You know, and like you said, I felt like it was a positive thing that he says, I'm gonna, I'm squashing the beef, it's over. Yeah. This is it. We are done. I think it kind of displays a cool time for hip hop that you could have these kind of public rivalries yeah. and nobody's getting killed. Yep. You know, <laughs> nobody's eating a bullet over it. Right. They put it, they put it on the track and they speak their mind and they diss one another and they come back and forth. And I don't know, they might be friends now. I don't know. Sure, yeah. It sold records for both of them. I think Cool J probably yeah, came um, out the Cool J. He came out the, the top dog. Because yeah, I think after that, didn't Kumo D move to the Wild Wild West? Um, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I used to live downtown. What top <laughs> Light Street God then? Because Kumo D has his own type of flow. He really does. And he he was a pioneer and there's no denying. Because he had been doing it before LL Cool J in terms of like practicing and Do you think LL Cool J is really a battle rapper? No. Not necessarily. Because he, he's a ladies lover. <laughs> he's a ladies not really, he's a lover, not a fighter. Yeah, he's a ladies. LL's ladies love. <laughs> I mean, I mean Cool J was raised on content. <laughs> I think it's, it's all the old news now because I don't think either of them are doing anything worth listening to. <laughs> but LL still could, I think. I mean... He's, he's already done it. He's I, think, I felt like with Mama Said Knock You Out, he just proved it. Yeah. The number one out of the two of them. Well, here's what you got to think about. Have you ever even heard Death Blow? I never did. I knew I want to hear it. I think I did but at the time. Do you remember it? I don't remember it. Do you remember Mama Said Knock You Out? Dark, yeah. Do you remember <laughs> lyrics from Mama Said Knock You Out? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... When you hear that track, you know what it is. Uh, who's the more sane one? Probably Uncle yeah. Jay. Ah, yeah, because he probably didn't memorize his lines for his television. No, show sane, like as in not insane, as in not crazy. Oh. Uncle Cool J has lost his fucking mind. You think and he cool lost it back in the 80s. You think Cool J is crazy? I was just watching an interview with him last night, and that motherfucker is out of his fucking mind. Right. The hat's like a shark spin. <laughs> they would ask him about the hats. It's and like the, a shark spin. the truth was, he was losing his hair. Oh, Cool J? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a, that, everyone He's knew that. He's getting old. Chino XL is a line. I pull wigs back like LL's hairline. <laughs> you know, when you're getting to be a certain age, I think it's, it happens to a, a lot of, a lot of dudes. And a lot of dudes, they can shave all that off. It just looks good. <laughs> I try. Some people, some people. Keep on coming back, man. <laughs> some people, you, you get the, the hair. When that's gone, and you see what's underneath, it's like, Ugh. <laughs> what happened there? But then he went to switch into the bald head, and it looked fine on him. Yeah. It looks good. It, it, I think it's all right. I want to fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? Sure. Oh, I'm sorry. No! I totally love women. <laughs> ladies love. It's ladies. It's not boys. Let's <laughs> pick cookies in the past. <laughs> See, that's the type of shit I'm talking about. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I thought it was drugs. Was this a drug reference? No, it's about sex. 
He said the act of making love is. Cool J wins. Even if he's insane and has no hair. <laughs> if you have any comments, you know, anything you need to add, stuff you want us to say in the next. Who won? You decide. If we're right, we're wrong, you know, just let us know. Put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Banyard for life. Subscribe! Click the subscribe.